In the very near future, our High Slow Mariners are gonna take the world's first fully electric tugboat, the High Sea Wamas, into the Kitimat Village, and this is just the dream coming true. It actually exists, and so we're really excited. There's three things that we had to, to take into account. Our role in Indigenous reconciliation, our role in protecting the environment, and our promise to the Heisla that we were gonna protect their home. And the day that we made the decision for an electric tugboat, was just a start and we're starting to see the impacts within the communities, we're starting to see the impacts within our office, the impacts within our country. There's no other project like it. Our people from for many, many generations have navigated the waters of the Douglas Tunnel and it was a huge priority of our previous leadership, specifically Ellis Ross, in wanting our people back on the water and C-SPAN, High C, LNV Canada are in providing that opportunity not only with just short-term jobs, but in an opportunity at a career for many of our people today and for future generations. I come from a small coastal community, Kinmat Village. I grew up on the water. I guess it's just in my blood. My father was a fisherman, my brothers were fishermen, and uh, I always wanted to be out on the water. This opportunity came up and I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful to have be employed with C-SPAN. I do have a son working for C-SPAN. He's been here approximately four years. And my oldest grandson is looking to get into the same position we're at and I support him fully. And I wish that uh, I had gotten into the industry 20, 30 years ago. They're at a right age where uh, they can uh, keep moving up and it's a whole new freedom. We're already definitely seeing the inclusiveness of, of our women within industry, specifically in, in regards to the accommodation. is definitely gonna open doors for many Heisla women for today and for future generations. My girls, I tell them every day that the opportunities that this one project's bringing and all the partnerships that the nation has been able to establish, that they can do whatever they their heart desires and that is so meaningful that they can get their education in the local area and remain home with many career opportunities. It means a lot to, to the young people. That's why we supported this project going forward, to give our young people the opportunity to gain employment and training within the LNG Canada C-SPAN operations. Our nation is, is yet again a part of history. And I'd like to definitely thank our partners in High C, C-SPAD and LNV Canada for providing this opportunity for the nation to be a part of. What I take away the most is if you have a dream and you have the right people involved, the right partnerships involved, it can become a reality. Five years ago when we drew this up, it was just an idea to be the first fully electric tugboat. Now we're sitting inside it it's just amazing. It's just the beginning and it goes to show you that really anything is possible. The maritime industry is the oldest industry in the world. And look where we are now. We're sitting on a fully electric vessel. That's pretty cool.